forget Amy's on the Fury, so now all of a sudden she's Miss Speed Devil. <laughs> Hard not to. So, we're going to talk about something. We got something to talk about. You know what that is? No, you don't. Uh, you know why you don't know? Because I like doing this to you. Throwing stuff <laughs> on you at the last minute like this. You have no idea what we're going to talk about. It's a fun game for me. <laughs> Not going to stop doing it either. So you can get mad about it. It ain't going to matter. We're going to talk about dropping your bike. Yeah. Something that if you've never done it, you think it's a horrible thing. For those of us that have done it, we know that it is no big deal. It's going to happen. Right. Miss Stevie's bike has been dropped by our youngest son, like the day after she got it home. Well, he freaked out about the bike, but I just wanted to make sure he was okay because the bike's going to be fine. I mean, if you drop a bike, I mean, it's got protection on it, and if it doesn't, it's just a bike. Right. It's I remember. Be replaced. I remember the first time I dropped a Harley. I was at my dad's place. My brother and my dad were there and my foot slipped out on the rocks underneath the right side. Their road has a really bad crown on it. So it was a long ways down on the right side and I was not prepared for that. And I had not been riding a Harley for very long. And it went over on its side and I'm, I'm standing there and I'm like giving it everything I've got to hold that bike up because in my head it hadn't touched the ground yet. And my brother came walking up and said, dude, what are you doing? Let go. And I stopped trying to hold it up and realized that it was already on its side and I was not holding it up at all. <laughs> you, you know, when you're around a bunch of people, if you drop your bike, the main thing that you need to remember is number one, don't hurt yourself. You are not going to hold that bike up. Just let it go. Hopefully you've got crash bars on it or highway bars as they call them, but we all know that they're actually crash bars, right? right. So we put crash bars on Miss Stevie's bike for a reason, and I'm glad we did because otherwise um, it would have done a lot of damage, but it didn't because we had crash bars on it. Next thing, if you've got a passenger on the back, you need to make sure that they know, hey, if the bike goes over, protect yourself but don't try to stop it from going over because they're just going to get hurt even more. Because from where they're sitting at in their position, they're not going to stop that bike from going over at all. Um, you are going to fall off the bike. You are going to roll. Hopefully you let yourself roll. And hopefully you're wearing a helmet because we all know hitting your head at any speed can be very damaging, right? Right. So, and the next thing you got to remember is that the only people that are laughing at you are the people that haven't done it yet. Everybody else is looking at you like, I hope you're okay, don't worry, they get dropped. It's not a big deal. Um, I've been in my buddy's garage where he just flipped up his highway peg and then he, he thought in his head that he put his kickstand down and let the bike go and it fell over. But when we picked it back up, there was no damage. It was not a big deal. He did it in his garage. Um, I've seen bikes where people don't get the kickstands out the correct way. They don't get into the lock. And then they walk away from it. And, you know, five minutes later, they fall over. Also, no, go on. it's going to happen. Make sure. Uh, I don't even know how to say it. The, the big thing is, is that you cannot let yourself be bothered about it. It happens to everybody. I know, I know what it's like to do it for the first time and I know what you're feeling, but everybody's done it. It's not the last time it's going to be done. Bikes fall over. And you are, you, you're not a better person because you haven't dropped your bike yet. I say yet for a reason, <laughs> because you're going to drop it. It's that simple doing some of the training and stuff that we do to make ourselves better motorcycle riders you have to you have to drop it because you have to know the limits of the bike you have to know how far you can take it 
because if you've dropped it a bunch of times then you know while you're riding it oh this is as far as i can go because i know after this it's dropped <laughs> right it's at slow speeds but you have to learn how to ride it at slow speeds so you know what to do at high speeds and that's a whole different thing if you go watch a, a, a police competition those guys you'll see a, bo a bike dropped 13 or 14 times i mean it's it's, and it's not a big deal to them either because they know what it's like. Uh, they, they used to have a competition up in Omaha that we used to go to every year. I think actually my first video on this YouTube channel is my buddy Russ and I being there. So, uh, but at that competition, it used to be, so when you lean your bike over on the left side with that scraping that you hear, you're grinding the kickstand spring and if you grind it enough eventually that kickstand bring, spring breaks and your kickstand falls down it used to be where they would stop your clock so that you could fix your kickstand spring and those cops have kickstand springs in their pocket <laughs> it's, it's a common thing seriously yeah at that competition they decided that they were not going to stop the clock anymore so everybody was zip tying up their kickstands so you go out in the parking lot and either the bike was up against a curb on the crash bar or they didn't care and they just hello or they just set the bike over on its side in the parking lot on the crash bars <laughs> because they couldn't use their kickstand anymore and then they'd come up to it and they'd, they'd back into it and they'd flip it up and it was no big deal. They'd get back on it, they'd go do their competition, they'd come back and they'd set their bike back down on its side. <laughs> so, so dropping the bike is not a big deal. The bike's made to do it. Um, you're not going to hurt anything. The only thing to remember is that if you do it and you jump back on it, it's not going to start because the, the tip sensor will have tripped and then uh, you'll have to just shut the key off and turn it back on. That's all you have to do. But don't try to start it again and then just sit there and crank on your starter. It's not going to start. Miss Stevie has dropped this bike before. <laughs> when she was first learning how to ride. We didn't have that bike yet. And we went out to the farm. And she, she rode the bike around for a little bit. And then when she got to where she was done. She pulled up alongside the car. And... I don't really know what happened if she had the handlebars turned and then she grabbed a bunch of front brake and it went down or if she just forgot to put her foot down <laughs> I don't know but it, it fell over and I came over and picked it up now the thing about about bikes with ape hangers on them is that there's different ways you can pick the bike up the one I choose is to put my hip into the seat and then get low and then push up on it but I do it with my legs and my hip. I don't use the handlebars because I don't know if it could happen or not, but I'm afraid of bending the handlebars because there's a lot of leverage out here. So, and that's why when my bike falls over, if somebody comes over to help me, I say, no, 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 no. I appreciate it, but I got it. <laughs> but if you are going to go out and drop your bike on purpose so that you can learn how to pick it up, do yourself a favor and take the saddlebags off. It just makes it easier. Um, I don't have the the full the full crash bar in front of my saddlebags, so my saddlebag will hit when it hits when it when it falls over. So if you're going to do it on purpose, do yourself a favor and just take those off. Although if Miss Stevie did drop my bike and broke my saddlebag, I could get some really cool ones right <laughs> hey sure. you, you want to drop my bike for me when we get home <laughs> no. <laughs> Aww. so yeah so guys if you drop your bike it's not a big deal it feels like a big deal it's totally not and you will get over it and then next time somebody else drops their bike, you can be the one to say, hey man, I've done that. It's not a big deal. Life goes on. 
And if you haven't dropped your bike yet, oh, just wait. It doesn't, happen. it doesn't necessarily have to be something that you do. Somebody else could ride it and drop it, like in my case. Uh, like I said, they could just fall over in the parking lot if something's not done right. Uh, the, the lock for the kickstand can actually break and then the bike will fall over. That'll, that can happen. Um, there are ways to get around that too, but we'll save that for the video about picking the bike up. Picking the bike up and reasons the, vi the bike can fall over. That will be a video coming soon. Anything you want to add there, sweetheart? No, I just want to learn how to do it before I leave. Oh. In case it happens to me. Okay. And I know what I'm doing. And I know that there's going to be a ton of people around me, so they're going to do it for me, but I still would like to learn how to do it for me. Yeah. No, that's, that's very important to learn. There is a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it watching Million Dollar Bogan's early videos where he drops his bike constantly and he's unpacking the bike and he's taking his saddlebags off and he's just doing everything he can to pick it up and you're sitting there going man if you would have learned how to pick that up you wouldn't have to go through all that of course it was also like 110 degrees in Australia while he did it or on a dirt road or down a cliff or <laughs> <Right. laughs> which makes sense as to why he's unpacking it uh -huh. <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah, so dropping your bike, not a big deal. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. You know what? It's your turn. I'm done for the day. I'm on break. <laughs> so guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more of this stuff, have fun with Stevie and this is Stevie, push that bell notification so you know when we load up next time. And until next time, stay cool and we will see you on the road. And hit the subscribe button. Oh, did I forget that? Yeah. Alright, I'll redo it. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Can we re redo it? Yeah, go ahead, that's fine. So guys, if you like oh, this Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, you gotta be in the same spot you were. Okay, go ahead. So guys, if you like this video, push that like button. If you want to see more of us, hit that subscribe, and also hit that bell notification know when we load up Ugh. <laughs> so guys if you like this video push that like button if you want to see more of us hit that subscribe and also hit that bell notification when we oh. <laughs> everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road fist bump as you go by <laughs> we can't do that we can i can't we can Ha, 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 ha,